I've been refraining from drinking distilled water for a few months now and uh, I really can feel the effects of it on my consciousness, my mind, and my body. So a while back my distiller broke after years of using it every day, heavily. My little water distiller, my little $200 water distiller, I used somewhere, sometimes upwards of three to four times a day. So I was distilling typically two to three um, gallons of water every day for over two and a half, three years. And uh, I think it was actually close to four years and after that it just, it just died on me eventually. But I will be getting another one of those models again. That was a great water distiller. But uh, again, it broke and uh, I've been drinking a lot more water now than I used to when I was drinking distilled water. So I can't really keep up with the distillation um, for the volume of water that I'm drinking and cooking with, you name it. So I've been drinking filtered water for a while now. And let me tell you, I can feel the effects. Unabug! I can feel the effects on my, uh, my mind especially. Ow! Mm. Stepped on a fucking rock. <laughs> Sharp rock. But, uh, you know, I when I was drinking distilled water for those that handful of years, I really hardly ever got sick. And when I started drinking filtered water again, I started getting sick again. So, I do believe that is directly correlated with the fact that, you know, when you drink filtered water, you're drinking all the shit. You're drinking the fluoride, you're drinking the pipe residues, you're drinking the chlorine compounds, the chloramines, you're drinking the inorganic material, you're drinking the radioactive elements, the parasites, plutonium, cobalt, algicides, hydrofluorosilicic acid, you name it. So, <laughs> you know, the, the idea of water filtration is cool. It sounds good, but it, when, you, when you really look at the, uh, the research on filtration, it, it really, it, it sounds better on paper than it actually uh, is in reality. Filters are dark and wet <laughs> and cold. They're a perfect breeding ground for bacteria, mold, and viruses. When you filter excessive amounts of water through a filter, over time, the material that you're filtering out gets stuck in the filter membrane. And now the filter membrane that you're filtering your water through is literally just a massive shit deposit that you're running all your water through before you drink it. So you're picking up those materials, you name it. So, I am not a fan of water filtration, and that may sound contradictive because I have been consuming it, but I enjoy doing experiments, and uh, this experiment has revealed a lot of beneficial information and wisdom to me about the health consequences of consuming the wrong waters, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Distilled water, without a doubt, is my favorite form of water, but... Uh, in order for distilled water to be beneficial, it has to undergo a lengthy restructuring process. So many of the people who used to bash me publicly about the fact that I undergo a restructuring process with my distilled water, many of the people who used to say that I was crazy for restructuring my water, the distilled water, are now coming to me and asking me, hey dude, I need, let me know how you do that. I've, I've done a lot of research, I've done a lot of experiments, and..." You're right. And this isn't me trying to say, oh, I told you so, no. But distilled water, it's hungry water, if you drink it right out of the boil, ke boil kettle, it needs to be exposed to crystal energy. It needs to be exposed to love. <laughs> I don't see why people get so offended, the distilled water people out here, when I say that, uh, I restructure my water. There's a cult around distilled water, ladies and gentlemen, and a lot of the people are just out of their minds. A lot of the people touting the health benefits of distilled water, they aren't even that healthy. If you look at their diets, if you look at the way, the things that they do, their actions, a lot of people just cling to this distilled water fad and this cult so that they can bitch at other people and tell people that they're wrong for drinking this water or that water. But. <laughs> I've done the experiments, I've done the research. Over the last six years, I've experimented with so many different forms of water, filtered water, gravity fed water, alkalized water, charcoal filtered water, distilled water, you name it. And 
distilled water is without a doubt the cleanest, softest water you'll ever consume. Um, and that's due to the fact that when you distill water, you're removing all the hard material out. You're separating the bullshit from the quality material. Alchemically, you're removing the dross from the quality material. So distill, water distillation is indeed a form of alchemy because you are separating garbage from the pure matter, from the pure material. And alchemy is just a process of taking one substance and transmuting it into something else. So by removing the waste, you're actually creating a completely different form of water and you're alchemically exalting it. So, just a brief little message on distilled water. I have been drinking about 90 to 100 ounces of filtered water every day that I filter with a charcoal and sediment filter. And then I soak it in uh, some pieces of Kishu Bincho Tan charcoal for eight to 16 hours every night. Now this is actually a pretty damn good quality water for people who have been on tap water their whole lives, you name it, but it comes nothing close to distilled water um, that is properly restructured. And oftentimes I'll even soak my distilled water. I'll put pieces of the Kishu Bincho Tan charcoal in the distilled water and I'll let them sit in the distilled water for 12 to 16 hours just to further pull out any of the VOCs, volatile organic compounds that bypass the steam distillation process. Excuse me. Luna bug. Nice. So, again, it's interesting to note how my immunity has taken a uh, assault from drinking the filtered water. Um, I've, I've gotten sick a small handful of times since I started this experiment. And uh, I'm glad that I did because it really shows me just how uh, dangerous filtered water is. And uh, when I was sick, I, uh, I, I acquired some distilled water and drank it and it made me feel better almost instantly. Uh, so I'm not saying that it cured me, but uh, my mind felt better, my body felt better, you name it. So another interesting thing about drinking distilled water for so long like I've done is once you get off of it, you can really feel the effects of the filtered water and how shitty it makes you feel. And then after drinking filtered water for a prolonged period and being away from distilled water, once you get back on the distilled water, you can really feel just how good this stuff makes you feel. And that's why I'm glad that uh, I've kind of put myself through these experiments where I'll do something healthy for a prolonged period and then I'll stop and then I'll get back on it because when I get back on it, it really validates just how healthy this stuff is because I can feel the effects of it again as if I was consuming it for the first time. Because I mean, if you drink distilled water for over a year, you know, your body gets used to it. You really don't take note of how good it's making you feel anymore because you're used to it. You just feel good in general. But once you get off of it and then get back on it, you can really feel the effects. So I'm ranting at this point. I'm gonna wrap this one up. On behalf of the Sacred Starseed Serpent Uraeus YouTube channel, thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video can help inspire you to see the common sense rationale and philosophy of uh, you know consuming clean water. I hope that my, my videos and my messages can help inspire you to not buy into all the bogus propaganda surrounding distilled water. And I hope that my videos and my channel can help you think before you react. Don't buy into the bullshit. Peace be with you.